Whenever I mention hypergamous doubt, think of it in these terms. Is he the best I can do? And that is persistent for the rest of your lives, ladies. Is this guy still the best I can do? Could I get a better than this guy? Like that guy, like you want to know why that, uh, where did it go? Like you want to see that in action? I'll show you that in action here in just a second. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. This is this, hold on. This is this in action. Let me remove that from there. Is he the best I can do? Let's see. When women are faced with that, especially when guys like this, this was so good too. Where did, where did it go? Here it is. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel. I gotta respect it. God, that's a fucking, like a fucking player. Like a fucking G. Okay. So what is happening here? It's I'm good with that. You want to break up? I'm good with that. See you later. But when, when I've, I've said this, yeah, Jade, is that, I don't even know who this bitch is, but um, she looks like a linebacker, but the, uh, the, if you watch the hair, I'll let, I'll, I'll let this play out. Cause it's, it's so good here. And that's all you have to say. If that's how I feel, I'm going to respect I mean, it. What you, you seem like you said you're one liner. Like if that's all you have to say, should, let's hug like and let's just let it go. Okay. So this is like playing poker here. Called her bluff. So, hey, I'm good with it. See you. If that's not you. I don't want you to stick around and do anything that you don't want to do. I don't want you. I don't want you to stick. I don't want. I don't want to be fucking a woman who doesn't want to fuck me. How the hell? That's that should be standard operating procedures there. But what's happening right here is you see when he she got her bluff called. Notice what she does. She tries to backpedal. She's like, hey, why aren't you fighting for me? Because you ain't worth fighting for. That right there is I can do better than you. So when a man, like you want to know who, like think about it this way, who initiates divorce the most women, 70%, at least 70%. Okay. Who is, who, who initiates breakups? There's no marriage. Like you're, you're in a relationship with a girl and she breaks up. Who do you think initiates those more? I would say women as well, because I can do, there's this, always this, this hypergamous doubt is he the best I can do. And what happens is when that breakup happens, when that when push comes to shove and you have the showdown like you are here, and then that guy's like, he doesn't try to fight and he doesn't try to like, oh, wait, baby, you're the only one for me. Like when he doesn't do that, look what happens. You ain't trying to fight for nothing. You seem like you've already made your decision. It ain't decision. about me already making a decision. You don't have a rebuttal you for nothing like that I'm saying. You seem like you've already made your decision. I wanted you to say something. I'm you're not saying you speak. It's not time to listen. It's time to talk. See, there it is. Because... Once she's in that minute, like this whole thing, this exchange takes place in less than a minute, right? Less than 30 seconds, really. And you look at this and you see what's playing out here is hypergamous doubt. This is exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about hypergamy. Is he the best I can do? And he's like, well, you know, I'm out. And then she's like, oh shit. Like her, her subconscious, like you, the parts of a woman's subconscious is like, oh shit. Oh shit. I just made a really big mistake. Maybe he is like, because if he was, if he wasn't the best I could do, he would be fighting. He would be like, he'd simp out. He'd be like, Hey, wait, baby, I'll take you to, I'll take you to Aruba. I'll do this. I'll do, I'll, I'll try harder. We'll go to marriage counseling. I'll take you back after you cheated on me. No problem. You know what that says to a woman's like hindbrain? This, this motherfucker ain't for me. I don't have anything to do with this guy. But when you walk out, when you have, when like this, this, by the way, guys, this is a prime example of like when people are talking about game or people say you need to have the, you need to have the, uh, the uh, option or the, the balls to walk away from a situation that's not right for you here. It's happening in black and white. And look at what the reaction is from, from this woman. It's like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All of the things you say you want to be there, you're here for me. You're all about the future and everything. You didn't even fight for a second. Then why the fuck are you challenging him on it? Why would he have to? Why would he be about that? You're the one that's, at this point, like she's going to break up with the dude. She's going to break up with this guy. Let me pull this off of here now. In that moment. So anyways, getting back to my point here, that um, that is the hypergamous doubt in action right there. And it's being challenged. Like it's the flip of it, right? It's, it's, just, it's a pretty good example of hypergamous. Is he the best I can do? 
And that's why I tell God, yeah, cognitive dissonance for sure, Jones. But um, also you have to remember that when that woman is in that moment, that's like a, that's uh that's a shit test. When women get called on a shit test, that's why, uh, that's why that's a primary thing that's in like uh, in the player's handbook for sure. But we always tell, you know, guys reserve the right to walk away. And when you do look what happens, here's the thing. Now you would have had a much different, um, you would have had a much different response if that woman had already checked out of the relationship. She had that same conversation and she was like, yeah, I don't care. You wouldn't have a show. You know, there'd be no indignation. There'd be no like, you know, bread and circuses with this, you know, this clip. I don't even know where this is from. Somebody sent this to me on Instagram, but there would be a, she looks like Dennis Robin. She does. Um, there would, there's that instance of, uh, of realization. Whoa, he's okay with this. He must not be who I thought he was. He must act. I thought he was a chump. I thought he was a simp. I thought he would try to fight and he's not. That implies value and apply. It it's a value or remember it's a, a value exchange. Thank you, Tristan Tate. It's an, it's a value exchange. And he's like, you know what? You're not worth my investment in this. Do you guys remember? I forget who did it. Uh, was it Michael B. Jordan? And I forget the chick that he brought over that broke up with him. That value exchange right there. And he's like, Fuck it, you don't want this. Somebody else is going to want this shit too. Right. And everybody was proud of, a, of what the hell was that chick's name? I can't remember now. That whole breakup. It's like you look at it. They, well, how come he's not fighting for me? Because you ain't worth fucking fighting for. And a guy who's high value, who realizes you're not, fuck, you're not, you're not, it's a better option for him to bug out of the relationship than it is to fight for you. That means that dude was much higher value than you, your hind brain gave him credit for. That's the hypergamous doubt.